My name is Nancy. I'm 36 years old and I am almost 14 weeks alone. My name is Anthony and we're here to find out the sex of the baby. We have a three-year-old daughter and she would love to have a baby sister. I think it'll be a girl. <laughs> I think it might be a boy. Either one, healthy baby. Yeah, a healthy baby would be all we ask for. Hi! Hi How are you, Nancy? Yes. How are you? Hi! We have a couple names we'll picked you. out, yeah. But we it's... do, but it's, uh, it's going to be a surprise. So I have some uh, really exciting news for you. So the last time you were here, we decided that you were going to do the Maternity 21 test, yes. which is the new test that came out in June that yeah. enables us to check the baby's uh, chromosomes through your blood, through maternal blood. And so that's really a revolution in obstetrics because prior to that, we either had to do chorionic villus sampling, where they actually took a biopsy of the placenta, mm -hmm. or an amniocentesis, which is where they put a needle through the mom's tummy and went into the uterus and removed amniotic fluid to determine the chromosomes of the baby, as well as the sex. So both okay. of those tests will tell the sex, and now the new Maternity 21 test also tells us the gender. Okay. What is like the accuracy? Um... It's about 99%. Okay. So the first most important thing is, is that the baby does not have an extra copy of either chromosome 13, 18, or 21. So those are some very serious, what we call trisomies, that the baby does not have. Okay. Are you ready to find out the results, what the baby is? Yes, yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. So, it is a boy. Oh, oh. I know, I knew you'd be excited. I was so excited. But now you'll have a pair. I knew yeah. it. Oh my gosh. You knew it? I, well, I, I think more so than that, I just, I kind of really wanted a boy. Yeah, because you have a daughter. Uh, I do, we do, yeah. yes, yes. That's going to be a little tough how to break the news to her because she really wanted a little She wanted more. a sister. This is the actual report that we get from Maternity 21, just so you guys can see it. And so we know because you're female and you shouldn't have white chromosomes. Okay, I like to hear that's me. okay. <laughs> um, that's how we know it's a boy. <laughs> Now, Thank you. this is the really the earliest, other than with CVS, that we could actually know the gender. So let's take a look at the baby. Okay. Okay. How are you feeling? Oh are you are you feeling better? I feel a lot better. Okay. Yeah. You're not as sick. Um, not as sick. Okay. Yeah. How's your daughter doing? She's doing good. Okay. Yeah. Is she gonna be surprised? She may be too a little. little. Sad. <laughs> Did she, she wanted want a, a girl. girl? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So what you can tell her is that she'll be the only princess in the house. <laughs> so like that, so she can share. So honey, you're just gonna show me your tummy because okay. we're gonna do everything on your tummy. The one thing nice about also knowing the gender is that you really can bond to them, and you can give them a name and you know what I mean. And so it really, I think it really. That's why I like knowing the gender is. I just think it allows you to like think of it as a little person rather than just an it. Mm -hmm. But I'm really happy because I know that Tony really, really wanted a set. Yeah. Um, baby's growing perfectly, everything looks really good, nice amniotic fluid, good movement, good heartbeat. Okay. First person we're going to call are our mom and dad. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. And have a good holiday also. You as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Hi. It definitely feels complete. I'm very, very happy. There was a slight consideration of a third if it was going to be a girl. <laughs> oh, there was? <laughs>